If you're anything like me, you've tried looking up tools before, got hundreds of results back, poked around a little bit, got overwhelmed, and then gave up. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you today. I've done all the poking around, I've done all the research, and I have found the best tools that you can use that are free. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shantae. I am a freelance social media manager that runs my own agency, have been doing so for four years, and I help other freelancers do the same thing. Disclaimer before we get started, the majority of these softwares that I'm going to mention today do have a paid plan that you can upgrade to, but they do have a base level plan that is workable if you're just getting started. Eventually, you'll probably want to convert to a paid plan as you grow, but if you're just getting started, we want to keep our operating expenses as low as possible and you can't beat free. There are three different aspects of managing a social media account that you would need tools for. They are client project management, content creation, and content scheduling. This is your all-in-one place to store everything you need for your client projects. This includes client media, like videos and images, branding pieces, links to photo shoots or blog posts. It's basically a work zone that you can access everything that you need on a per client basis. Now, all of these tools I'm gonna to share with you are pretty similar, but there are some pros and cons. Some have more bells and whistles than others, but they do allow you to have your own account, your clients can have an account, and your team members, if you have any, can also have their own account. With Trello, you can create a board for each client. You can create cards and tasks inside those cards, which can be handy if you want to upload a piece of content, have someone else revise it, and discuss what needs to be done in the comment section. This could be between yourself and your team member or you and your client. You can set deadlines, assign tasks, provide and track feedback, and integrate with popular apps like Slack, Dropbox, Google Drive, and more. This does not allow for a ton of customization, especially on the free plan, but it does allow you to change your custom background and stickers. You'll have to upgrade to the paid plan if you want more than 10 boards or have more than 10 clients, advanced checklists, custom fields, unlimited storage up to 250 megabytes, calendar view, and have more control over account permissions and capabilities per user. This could come in handy if you don't want your clients actually editing the captions or hashtags themselves. You just want them to be able to comment. So you'll have to kind of pick and choose based on who your clients are and what features you need. Asana is fairly similar to Trello, but the way that the information is presented to a client might be better because it allows you to have a project overview page where you can leave notes, track important deadlines, link to files, and more. Unlike Trello, Asana's free plan allows you to add up to 15 teammates and gives you access to list view, board view, and calendar view. While you would need to upgrade to a paid plan to get things like custom fields, forms, and templates, it would be a software that an individual could use for a long time and use to grow a team. ClickUp is similar to both Asana and Trello, but it has a lot more bells and whistles. In their free plan, you get whiteboards, real-time chat features, in-app video recording, and collaborative docs. It's like a, its own Google Doc, but hosted in ClickUp, so it's an all-in-one place. You can have up to 400 folders and 100 lists which is more than enough to keep up with any clients that you have. You also get to customize the board views in the free plan. What I love about ClickUp is that it allows you to have custom fields with up to 100 uses. You can embed spreadsheets, YouTube videos, and more. And it also allows you to have multiple assignees, task checklists, tags, and priorities. This is what I use for my clients' project management. Now for content creation, there are some that we know and love, and then there are others that are a little less popular. Canva is my favorite and my go-to because of the variety of choices and features it has. They're always adding new things, but it is one of the most popular software, so you kind of have to really customize your design so it doesn't end up looking like everyone else's. Canva is women-owned and an industry favorite for a good reason. Canva lets you cut, trim, splice videos, add text, add audio, with with a variety of animation and decoration themes, including curved text. They have a built-in photo editor, image cropper, and has so many stock design options from videos, photos, graphics, and animated GIFs. With the free plan, you get their drag and drop editor, over 250,000 free templates, 1 million free photos and graphics, 
the ability to invite others to design and work on your files, and a whole lot more. While I do suggest upgrading to the Pro plan because of all of the amazing features, and you'll get access to their 100 million plus stock photos, videos, and audio files, plus graphics, you can definitely get by with the free plan. Canva also allows you to integrate with Google Drive, Giphy, and more. Plus they have a built-in post scheduler, although I've never used it, so I can't vouch for how reliable it is, but it is an option. Adobe Express isn't as popular as Canva, which means their designs and templates may be a little bit more unique than what you're typically used to seeing. They have basic editing and photo effects, access to over 2,000 unique Adobe fonts, thousands of templates and design assets, and you get to use Adobe stock from their royalty-free photo collection, which is not accessible on any of the other softwares. With their premium plan, you of course get access to their premium editing features, more fonts, stock photos, and you can schedule your social media content. Again, I have not used this feature, so I can't speak to how reliable it is. If you've used this or Canva for scheduling, please let me know in the comments and let other people know what your experience with them were. Now, if you're working on video editing, which most of us are these days, I recommend going the CapCut route especially if you have a video where there's face to cam speaking like this. The auto caption feature not only automatically captions the videos for you, but there's also a setting where you can have it trim out filler words and pauses, and it saves you a lot of editing time. They have a browser version, a mobile version, and you can download it if you have a Mac. With text-to-speech, effects and filters, trendy music, sound effects, and text overlay, you have all of the video editing features you need to create a polished social media video. They also have a template library. So if there's a viral trend on TikTok, they probably have added a template for it in CapCut. You just have to know what to search for. And on TikTok, if people post it through CapCut, there's a link to the template that you can use and makes it really easy. Similar to CapCut, InShot allows you to edit videos pretty easily. You can import a video, edit it, and add effects, animations, video in a video, overlay text and GIFs, adjust your canvas size, and more. It does not currently have auto captions, so you'll have to use a separate app for that if you need them. It does have a paid plan that has a lot of the advanced features, so you're gonna wanna upgrade to that if you need them, but it does work for basic editing, simple edits on the free plan. Now for content scheduling, my recommendations are going to change depending on what platform you need to use. If you're scheduling to Facebook or Instagram, you honestly can't beat Creator Studio. This was created by Meta themselves. You can auto publish carousels, reels, see your insights, manage your monetization, and have an all-in-one inbox for messages. This is what I use and it's been pretty reliable for posting, although I've heard other people say that they can't get their posts to publish and they've had issues. If you need to post to any other platforms like Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and TikTok, you could try Buffer's free plan. You can have up to three channels and 10 scheduled posts per channel. While it does only allow you to have one user, it will at least work for a freelancer who is just working for themselves on a few different clients. A lot of schedulers do require your accounts to be a business profile and not a creator profile where you don't have that issue with Facebook's Creator Studio. You can use either type of account. So it's something to keep in mind when selecting your software. If you have questions, opinions, tools that you love to use that are free and you would recommend, let me know, comment below, let's chat about them. I'd love to hear what your recommendations are. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, go ahead and give it a subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. And if you wanna see the behind the scenes of my day-to-day -day as a social media manager, you can follow me over on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.